Welcome to this video tutorial on how to use the active pre-flight in InDesign using the Cedar Graphics preset settings. So we have our document here open in InDesign. It's an advertisement. And if you look here in the bottom panel, we have something showing up that says two errors. This is our pre-flight panel. If you take a look here, we can turn it on and off. We recommend leaving it on. And we recommend using the Cedar Graphics output preset settings here. And as you see here, we have two errors, and we have some more information on what these errors are. Number one is we have an error in the image resolution. As you can see here, the problem is that we have some images that are way over uh, our recommended DPI, which is 400. Um, this group of images, if we click on this little link here, it shows us where the error is. The effective res resolution is over 3,000 DPI, which is too high. Our second error here is in our document. What it says here is that we have um, no bleed, actually. Bleed size is too small. We recommend an eighth inch bleed. That's what we require for Cedar Graphics, and we have zero. We have no bleeds here. So let's go ahead and fix these problems. To fix the bleed issue, let's first go into File, Document Setup, and let's add bleed. Now, please note that we do not add bleed in this page size. The page size is the final trim size. You should always add bleed in the bleed area. Our bleed is now added. And we've eliminated one error. As for these other issues, it turns out that we have some images here that were of a larger size than this image doc in this document, and they were shrunk down. So to do that, we'd have to either rescale it, which we can't do, it'd be too big on this document, or we go into the source file, which here would be Photoshop, and fix these problems. We can do that rather quickly here. If we go to our links, we can right click. As we see, for example, this has an effective DPI of oh, 1,000, even though its actual DPI is 300 because it was shrunk down. So we just need to change the image size for that. Let's edit it with Photoshop. Our effective DPI is now 400, which is the limit and is OK. And as you can see in our document, we have no errors now. Of course, this doesn't solve the, res the problem of not having bleeds because there still is no bleeds. Even though we have a bleed here, we have a bleed area, we do not have any bleed in the document. So we'd have to go in and fix that. For the sake of uh, speed, just as a proof of concept here, let's go ahead and place an image here that we know will have an error. As you can see, the, and you can see the, pre, the act of pre-flight in progress. Let's go ahead and place an image. File. Place. We'll go ahead and place, uh, let's go ahead and place this image here, which I know is uh, an RGB image, because it's made for the website. As you can see, an error shows up here. If we take a look at this error, color space not allowed. And we see that it's RGB. And we have a big problem here if we went ahead and printed with this. So we can go ahead and convert that to CMYK in the native application in Photoshop. But in this case, I'll just go ahead and delete it here. And our errors go away. Also, errors such as text errors would show up here too um, if we had any other text problems like missing fonts. Now that we have all our errors fixed, let's go ahead and export this file as a PDF according to the Cedar Graphics PDF pre preset settings. Let's go to File, Export, and we can name it whatever we want to name it. Make sure you have Adobe PDF selected here. Hit Save. As you can see here, the Adobe PDF preset is our default preset, which is Cedar Graphics Output V2. What this is, is all these boxes and check boxes and numbers and your downsampling amounts, these are all pre-selected for you so that you don't have to worry about anything like that. All you have to do is hit export. It should create a perfect PDF for you. Once that's done, we can go ahead and open it in Acrobat. What we're going to do now is we're just, as a proof of concept, we're going to pre-flight this using our PDF, RC Graphics PDF uh, pre-flight that we've already installed in a previous video, and we're going to make sure that everything is okay. 
go to Advanced, Pre-Flight. We see our Cedar Graphics Output V2 under Import Profiles that we've already installed. Let's go ahead and analyze this document. As you can see, there are no red X's here, meaning uh, huge errors that will cause uh, us not to be able to print it here at Cedar Graphics. We just have some warnings, and therefore that the pre-flight we use in InDesign picked up any problems ahead of time that we would have when we proceeded with the RGB image or not having uh, our bleed box, etc., things like that, we would have gotten some red X's here, which is not a problem now. So you can go ahead and upload this to Cedar Graphics to have your perfect print file uh, printed by Cedar Graphics.